Tonight's message is not is not for those who've got no problems. Tonight's message is not for those who's got no troubles. Tonight's message is not for those who ain't got no worries in their life. Tonight's message is not for those who ain't got no drama going on in their life. Tonight, if your life is perfect, if you got no trouble and everything is perfect in your life, and everything is great in your life, this message is not for you. Better yet, if your life is perfect, if you got a perfect life and you got no troubles and you got no problems and everything is great in your life, you can leave right now. I'll give you a minute. You can leave. If you want to leave, go ahead. If that's you tonight, if you can say, I got no trouble, my, my life is perfect, you can leave the room. Go ahead. Because this message ain't for you. All right. I see nobody left. Actually, more people are coming in the room. Okay. This message tonight is for those who's got some trouble. Those who's got some problems. Those who's got some worries. Tonight's message is for those who's, who's dealing with a bad doctor's report. Tonight's message is for those who's got some real issues in their life. So they trouble on a pengitsara. So they problems with being a glati. Tonight's message is for those who's dealing with a drug addiction. Those that's dealing with a sickness, with a disease. Those who's got some financial problems. Those who don't know how they're going to make ends meet. Those who don't know how they're going to pay their bills. Those don't know how they're going to get out of this mess that they're in. This is who this message is for tonight. And if that's you tonight, God has brought you to this place tonight so that you can hear this message. Listen to me and listen to me good. God doesn't do anything by mistake. God has a divine appointment for you. And you are here tonight to hear this message because God wants to speak to you tonight. So open up your ears tonight. Tonight's message is called, He is able. He is able. Hallelujah. Deacon Bob, type that up on the board. He is able. Better yet, whoever can, type up that on the board right now. He is able. You need to confess it right now. You need to speak this tonight. You need to say this tonight, that he is able. Acknowledge that God is able tonight. When you say that he is able, you are showing how much you have faith in him, how much you trust in him, how much you believe in him. So you need to say it tonight. He is able. My God is able. Come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. He is able. I'm here tonight to remind you of some truth. That no matter what, He is able. He is able to do. I needed sometimes to be reminded that God is able. Because when I'm reminded that God is able, it gives me encouragement. And I pray tonight that God will encourage you, that this message will encourage you. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says these words. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that is in work within us. Hallelujah. The scripture says that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Exceedingly, over, above, beyond, abundantly. To go beyond. Was Paul repeating himself? Yes, he was. Paul was saying something that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Beyond, beyond. Beyond your wildest dreams, God is able to do it. Beyond what you could ever imagine, God is able to do it. And listen to me tonight. God is more than enough. He has more than enough power. More than enough ability tonight to do whatever is needed. Hallelujah. He is able. He is able. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we go through difficulties in life. We go through hardships in life. We go through trials in life. We go through troubles in life. And we start thinking... 
Maybe God is not able to do this. I want you to know something tonight. God is able exceedingly, abundantly, more than you can imagine, more than you could ask, more than you can dream of. God is able to do it. Even when the doctors say there's no way, God is able to do it. Even in the physical, when it seems like it's impossible, God is able to do it. There's nothing that your God cannot do. Hallelujah. Nothing. Verse 21 says this, To Him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. God is able to bless your life so that you can glorify Him in your life. If I don't know nothing, listen to me. I'm not a very smart man. I'm not. But one thing I know for sure, one thing I can tell you tonight without a shadow of a doubt, that God is able. I can tell you that wholeheartedly, that He is able. Hallelujah. And that's all you need to know tonight. He is able. No matter what, He's got it under control. He can take care of it. So tonight I want to look at four things that God is able to do. There's, there's a, a million things that God is able to do. But tonight I don't have time to talk about a million things. But tonight I want to focus on four things that God is able to do. Get ready. Number one. I think this is the most important. He is able to save. Hallelujah. He is able to save. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you're catching this tonight, Joey, Lula. He is able to save. David and Tiffany, he is able to save. Rocky Sarah, he is able to save. Remember this tonight. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25 says these words. Therefore, he is able to save completely. Hallelujah. I love that. I love this verse of scripture. He is able to save completely. God is able to save you completely. Those who come to God through Him because He is always lives to intercede for them. Listen to me tonight. You need to catch this tonight. D.D. Twiggy, listen to this. God doesn't save you 50%. God doesn't save you 60%. God doesn't save you 80%. God doesn't save you 90%. God saves us. He saves us completely. He saves us 100%. Listen to me and listen to me good. You and I will never be saved by our good works. You could never earn your salvation. You can't be saved because you're a good person. You're not going to be saved because you did some good things in your life. The only way we're going to be saved is when we put our trust, our faith, our hope in the finished work of the cross, in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Because I should have he was able to save us completely. The blood of Jesus is more than enough to save you and to save me. The blood of Jesus is more than enough to wash and cleanse the most wretched sinner. The blood of Jesus is able enough to save you and me today. And He is able to save us completely. Thank you, Jesus. That's right, paid in full. One of the words He said on that cross was teledestai, meaning paid in full. Thank you, Jesus, for that. You can add to your salvation. Listen to me tonight. You can add to the finished work of Jesus Christ. You can add to your salvation. You can't be any more saved. You must trust in what Jesus did because His blood, His power is more than enough to save you and to save me completely. Thank you, Jesus, for that. We must trust in the finished work of Jesus. So He saves us completely. Number two, he is able to deliver. Stevie Kiva, listen to this tonight. He's able to deliver tonight. Nick Adams, listen tonight. He is able to deliver. Tonight, God is able to deliver you. He is able to deliver. Daniel chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Most of you know the story. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would not bow down to Nebuchadnezzar's statue. Oh, 
O Nebuchadnezzar Manglele Te Den Changa Kak statue, right? They didn't worship God's statue. Al Aikakalatrin Lakloga would not bow down. They would not give in. They would not worship a statue. They would only worship Jehovah and Him alone. They would not give in. They would steadfast. They would not compromise. And and look what happens in verses 16 and 17. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve, hallelujah, the God we serve is able to deliver us. He is able to deliver us from it and He will deliver us from your majesty's hand. Thank you, Jesus. for King Nebuchadnezzar, the God we serve. Our great God, our mighty God, our, our powerful God, our, our almighty God. He is able to deliver us. He is able to deliver us from your hand. The king got very mad at his words. And the Bible says that he made the furnace seven times hotter than what it ever was. And he took these three young boys. He bound them hand and foot and threw them into the furnace. And then while they were in the furnace, while he was expecting them to burn, into the furnace. And what did he see? He saw those three young boys walking around in the fire. But wait, something happened. He only threw three in. But there was four in the fire. There was a four in the fire. I cannot declare, whoa, I see four men walking in the fire. And the fourth one looks like the Son of God. You bet your life, King Nebuchadnezzar, it doesn't just look like the Son of God, it is the Son of God. You see, listen to me tonight, Jesus showed up. God showed up and he delivered those young boys. And the Bible says they came out of that fire and their clothes didn't even smell like smoke. God delivered them from their fire. Hallelujah. Tonight, listen to me. I don't know what your trial is. I don't know what you're dealing with tonight. I don't know what your tribulation is tonight. But understand something what I'm about to tell you. The same God that delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is your God. And He is able. God is able. The way He delivered them, He can deliver you from your fiery furnace. He can deliver you from your trial. He can deliver you from your difficulty right now, no matter what it is. If He did it for them, He could do it for you. He's a God who is able to deliver. The only thing that burned up, catch this now. The only thing that burned up on those boys was the ropes that was binding them. That was it. The thing that was binding them was burnt up. But they themselves were without, were without spot. And listen to me tonight. Your trial, your tribulation, your fiery furnace, God can use it tonight. To burn off some yokes of bondages in your life. God can use the fiery furnace and the fiery trial and the difficulty that you're going through to burn off some stuff out of your life. Maybe there's some yokes of bondage in your life. Maybe there's some addictions in your life. Maybe there's some sin in your life. Maybe there's some uh, uh, difficulties. Maybe there's some hardships in your life. Maybe there's some bitterness and some unforgiveness in your life. Maybe you're dealing with some things right now. And listen to me, God can use this trial. God can use this difficulty to burn it out of your life and to deliver you from whatever you're facing tonight. We must trust in this God. Trust in Him that He is able to deliver. Thank you, Jesus. Number three. The third thing that God is able to deliver us from. The third thing that God is able to do. He is able to provide. Somebody needs to hear that tonight. Somebody in the room needs to hear that tonight. He is able to provide. 
A lot of us need to be reminded of this truth tonight, that God is able to provide. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 says these words, And God is able to bless you abundantly. Hallelujah. God is able to bless you abundantly. Are you hearing this tonight, Archie? God is able to bless you abundantly tonight. Pebbles, listen to this. God is able to bless you abundantly. So that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. God is able to provide. God is able to bless. God is able to give you abundantly. Why? So that in all times, in all things, you will be able, be able to give and to do His good work. I know a lot of people in Ikhlaja Sam, there's no secret. A lot of people right now, Pala Sojalpe and Ilumia, are struggling in their finances. Budmanus Nasti Janogav, Nasti Radin, and they're having hardships, they're having difficult times. And right now, maybe you're, you're saying, how could I make money right now? Coronavirus. Naigav. Nasti jaz. Nasti karaz. Nasti chinaz. Nasti bi chinaz. We can't do nothing right now. Listen to me, please. God provided bread, fresh bread every morning in the wilderness for two million Jews every day. In the wilderness where nothing grows, God was able to provide water, fresh water, every day on the Bach. They dealt with the Jenin, they paint. Odel Lel Sama Katarpeska Manus, you gotta catch this tonight. The word of God says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging for bread. And listen to me, if God was able to provide for Israel in the wilderness, He can provide for you. Somehow, some way, He can get food on your table. He can get your bills paid. He can put clothes on your back. He can pay your rent. He can pay your cell phone. Somehow, some way, God can make a way because God can provide. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Nadileo. God can make a way. He can provide. He's still a providing God. He is a God who is able. Able, remember, exceedingly abundantly. Exceedingly abundantly. More than you can imagine. More than you can dream. More than you can ask. He is able. He is able to provide for you, able to provide. And I just want to remind you of something tonight. If God provided the greatest need in our life, He provided the blood of His Son, Jesus, so that we can be saved. He provided salvation. He made a way so that you and I can be saved. If He provided the blood of His Son for our salvation, I'm sure He can provide everything else you need in your life. So don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. That's what we need to do. Stop worrying about it. Trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. And number four. The fourth thing tonight I want to talk about that God is able to do. He is able to keep us from falling. He is able to keep you from falling. Bob and Sherry, listen to this tonight. He is able to keep you from falling. Brian Marks, listen tonight. He is able to keep you from falling. Yah Mason, listen. He is able to keep you from falling. Jude 24. Jude has one chapter. But I want you to listen to verse 24 in that first chapter. Listen. Now all glory to God who is able to keep you from falling. Hallelujah. All glory goes to God who is able to keep you from falling. From falling away. 
and will bring you with great joy into his glorious presence without a single fault. Thank you, Jesus. He is able to keep you from falling. God is able to strengthen you. He is able to sustain you. He is able to keep you from falling away from him. Thank you, Jesus, for that. God has provided what we need. He's provided us His Word. He's provided us His Holy Spirit. He's provided us His presence, hallelujah, to keep us from falling. God is able to keep you. He's able to hold you. He's able to keep you from falling away from Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for being able, being able. Sometimes we lose strength. Sometimes we fall. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes we make mistakes. But thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because you are able to restore us. You are able to pick us up. He is able to dust us off. He is able to put us back on the right track. He is able to put us where we need to be and to keep us from falling. Hallelujah. He's able to strengthen us. Tonight, Mother Prama, Mother Pea. If you sense in your heart that you have fallen away, if you sense in your heart that you are weak, if you sense in your heart that you're about to give up, understand something. God is able tonight to strengthen you. He is able tonight to empower you. He is able tonight to restore you. And He is able tonight to keep you from falling. But you got to trust in Him. The same God who kept Moses the God who kept Joshua. He kept David. He kept Elijah. And yes, even Peter, after he denied him three times, when he fell, God brought him back. This same God is your God. He is your God. And he is able tonight to keep you from falling away. But you got to trust in Him. That's right, Bobo. He is able and He is willing. God is willing. Are you willing to let Him? Are you willing to let Him? Are you willing to allow Him tonight to keep you? To strengthen you? He can. He's got the ability, more than enough power, Bachama. But we got to trust in Him. Thank you, Jesus. So here, I close here. I close here. I have a question tonight. Here's my question tonight for everyone listening. So the clam may add, we have no doubt in our mind. So we have no doubt in our mind that God is able. We all could say amen tonight. If I was to ask you tonight, based on so declam so jinam aran ne war bale devleski is God able and i'm sure every single one in this room could say amen praise the lord i may pachas we believe we know that god is able but here's the question tonight the question tonight is this we know that god is able but the question tonight is this are we able to believe are we able to believe that's the question tonight are you able to believe tonight are you able to believe? Are you able to put your faith in this God? Are you able to trust in Him? Many, are you able to trust in Him? Mr. and Miss Miller, are you able to have faith in Him? Are you able to believe in Him? Nikki and little one, are you able to trust in Him tonight? This is the question. This is the question tonight. It's not that God is able, we know He's able, but are we able to believe? Are we able to trust in Him? Because listen to me, all the stuff that God is able to do, if we don't trust in Him, if we don't put our faith in Him, if we don't believe in Him, listen to me, it won't happen. We have to believe. We have to trust. We have to obey. Because it's meaningless. If God is able to do all these great things and we don't believe, that's what we have to do. That's right, help our unbelief. 
Help our unbelief, Lord. God is able to keep every promise. That's it. Trust in the Lord. And that's what we need to do tonight. Yes, Bobo, we're our worst enemies. We must trust. We must believe. We must obey. This is what we need to do. We know God is able. We got to do our part. Able to believe. God doesn't want us to understand everything. Understand something, please. We can't always understand everything. We can't always explain everything. We can. But one thing that God wants from us, one thing that God asks from us, is to trust Him, is to believe in Him, is to have faith in Him. Our minds can't comprehend everything. That's these. But you mangalamen odel to understand everything. So mangalo de la menda is the taza maro pachamosa mari was dela maro trust and the rest. Trusting without seeing. Believing without knowing all the facts. Trusting in Him no matter what. We need to be able to believe. So one thing again for sure I can tell you tonight is this. God is able. He is able. Hallelujah. Kuda says the word about that. Kaya mangalim tu halavaf tu mensa magaprao magapaya. Remember that God is able. Now tonight, maybe you're weak in your faith. Maybe tonight you're having a difficult time trusting God. Maybe tonight you're having a hard time putting that faith that you know you're not able. And you're telling me tonight, Jimmy, I'm not able. I'm, I'm really having a hard time. I'm, 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 the circumstances are too much. They felt what parimos. They felt what nakazo pemande did. Jimmy, I can't trust. I can't have the faith that I need. Tonight I want to pray. I want to pray. If that's you tonight, if that's you tonight, say me tonight. Say me. Say I need help. I need help. I need help trusting in you, Lord. Say me tonight. I want to pray tonight. I want to pray tonight for you. If it's you tonight, say me. Say me. I want to have more faith. I want to have more trust, Lord. I'm, I'm having a difficult time trusting. Believing the way I should. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray tonight. for Sali Shanik, I was in Because one thing I think we all need, we all need a little bit more faith. We all need a little bit more trust tonight. We need more faith in God. We need more trust tonight. All of us do. I think we do. I do. I know I do. I need to be able to believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray tonight. Would you do me man sarat? Mukodad. So declare marat and it's your that you are able. You are able to do above, exceedingly, beyond our imagination. You are able to save. You are able to deliver. You are able to provide. You are able to keep. You are able, Devla, to do the impossible. But Lord, sometimes, hardaminga, the pachas. Sometimes, govlo maro pachamos. Sometimes, Lord, the situations overtake us, and we lose faith. Lord, heal our unbelief. Strengthen our faith. Help us, Lord, to believe, to trust. Forgive us, Lord, for ever doubting you. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus. The swakumanu sarat devla kai vas deping avas kai trubul lizor mukodan. Increase their faith. Take away their unbelief, devla, from their life. 
Ai dele zor, dele pacea, dele hodina mugodar. Ai dele devla, exuralup pacea moz. Lord, I pray that our faith in you will grow. Te janaz devla, te prinjaraz who you are and what you're able to do in our lives. Because nothing, nothing tonight, nothing tonight is impossible with God. So help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, trust in you. Help us, Lord, to have more faith in you. We want to be able to believe, able to trust, and have no matter what faith tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. Just a mention of his name. That's the power. That's the ability of your God. Just a mention of his name. Just a mention of his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray tonight peace in everyone's homes. I pray tonight that the presence of God will fill every house tonight. Tonight I'm talking to people that are having a difficult time sleeping, a, a hard time. Uh, a hard time with all of this trouble and situations that are in Utrao. Tonight I pray that God will send His peace, His comfort. I pray that God will give you sweet sleep tonight. I pray that God will put His protection upon all of you tonight. That a cult of Mensao del Satumara Shave, Satumara families, Tumara Bora, Tumara Shea, then Grotuman Odell and Episcovas. I demand Sasa State. I pray in Jesus' name that God would provide for all of you. That Denavel to Mene Briga Lovengi. That God will provide supernaturally for each and every one of you in Jesus' name. And I pray that God will be the center of your life. I pray that you would spend more time with God, that you would spend more time in His presence, that you would pray more, that you would spend more time in His Word, that you would worship Him. I tell you, Dil Patumendi, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God bless you, Maga Prao, Maga Pea. Na isiv le devleska palatumendi. Uh, I pray that God will bless you and your families. I love you. I will pray for you and I ask you. I thank the Lord for all of you and we will see you tomorrow night. 